Hey guys, welcome to a very special Amaz card reveal video featuring a priest legendary in the new Mean Streets of Gadgetan Hearthstone set. Oh man, I am very excited because when I looked at this, I like, you know, double checked myself. It's like, am I reading this correctly? I mean, first of all, look at the character artwork, right? Look at this badass artwork. He looks amazing. All right, now look at the card. This card is called Raza the Chain, five mana five five, uh, which is very very good. Well, well statted, and there's a crazy effect. It's a battle cry. If your deck has no duplicates, your hero power cost zero, free, nada. This whole entire game. Wow. Now that is some powerful text to put on a minion that already is statted really really well. Okay, let's 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 break this down. First of all, it's very similar to Reno Jackson, right? Uh, where you reward it for building a Highlander 30 unique card deck, which is very hard to do, right? Because you have to sacrifice consistency and you still have to make sure you have all the tools necessary to deal with aggro, to go with the control uh, matchup, you know, how do you beat combo decks, for example, while getting each card that's unique to the deck. That's really, really hard to do, right? But you get to play Raza, which is an insane power level, right? Because it gives you a permanent effect. I always say that permanent effects in Hearthstone, or even in any card game, right? It's very, very powerful. Your opponent can't even remove this effect, right? Um, this is very similar to Lord Jaraxxus, where you turn yourself into a super demon that, you know, has a hero power that gives us a lot of 6-6s, six which is permanent. Or, you can compare to uh, Justicar as well, because Justicar changes the hero power permanently. You know, we, we know that warriors love the tank up hero power and your opponent has to play completely differently. You know, if, if they were being very aggressive, now they have to reevaluate and maybe have to play more of a board centric game because now your hero power is healing for four. Now this Raza is effectively the same thing, right? Instead of giving you an extra power spike, uh, it gives you more mana each turn to do whatever you want. Since your hero power is going to cost zero, your opponent's going to know that you're going to heal for two every single game, every single turn, which might change their aggressive or mid-range strategy a little bit. And also for you, you actually get two extra mana every turn, right? Like just just picture it as like once you reach ten mana crystals, you actually get twelve mana each turn to use. Of course, two of them has to hit hit your hero power, but if the game lasts longer, you're going to outvalue your opponent in that sense. So this part is really, really strong, um, especially against uh, you know an aggressive deck, right? When you play, uh, when you, it's turn five. Not only do you get to play Raza, right? If it's in your hand, you get to play a five mana five five, which contests the board really well, and with five health, dodges a lot of removal, right? Such as you know your lightning bolts, your frost bolts. Uh, most most removal spells deal three damage, and five five is like the perfect stat line, right? You also get to heal in the same turn, right? You actually get like seven mana of value. At turn five and then you get eight mana of value because you have six mana and two extra for the hero part and then you get nine so it's kind of like a super nourish if you may uh so that is very exciting um we also have a lot of combos that are inherent with this card such as of course just the card true heart why not have your hero power cost zero and heal for four every turn right you can also put some inspire creatures such as my favorite uh combo that i can think of would be Nexus Lord Sarad, right? Where you can actually play this and, and then play Nexus Lord for five, get that spell for free, and then w if they don't remove it, you just get a free spell every single turn, right? That is awesome. Um, you can also get very aggressive with Raza as well, such as Alcanite Soul Priest, right? If you play Alcanite Soul Priest, you can ping and you can play a two drop at turn six because naturally that's how uh, Raza and, and Alcanite play out. And that, 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 that's just awesome. You get to do a huge spike in your power level. You, all, you might also play Sir Finley, where you can, you know, have different hero powers that cost zero. That, that could be very cool. And of course, my, the most weird combo that might come into existence would be Shadow Form. Uh, you know, why not become the, e even better than Hunter, right? Have a steady shot that not only can target minions, it can also cost zero with Raza, right? Very interesting, very interesting. Um, my personal favorite 
uh, interaction that this can actually uh, th that Raza can actually do with a card that already exists is Kodardrake. Imagine if you thought steal Kodardrake from your opponent's deck, or even get it randomly from some random effect, right? And then you play this when already played Raza. You get to have unlimited free hero powers. And if you have a hero power that deals damage, or if you have an Alkana on board, that would be a true one turn kill. Your opponent can't actually win, they, they just die. You just keep on pinging them. It doesn't matter if they're infinite health, right? You have infinite damage to combat the infinite health, and that is awesome. Uh, why is this card also really good? It's because, well, there's a new set coming, right? There's gonna be all sorts of new cards, like the new Auction Master Beardo that I'm probably gonna put in uh, the same deck as Raza. There's also Kazakis, you know, th this group of, you know, Cabal cards that fit into all three classes of Priest, Warlock, and Mage that we can might consider. So, very, very cool, um, Bruise that I can think of with Raza. I'm very excited to play this card, and you should be too, because this is the first Priest Legendary that not only has a very cool effect, that it is also has a very reasonable stat line, right? Most of the Priest Legendaries that we have in the previous expansions were very understated, like Hero Village, which was understated for a 6 mana card. Vol'jin was kind of understated, uh, and you can't really play it. Uh, if your opponent has no creatures. Raza, just slam it down and enjoy the value. Enjoy the ride. Uh, very excited for the Mean Streets of Gatasan, so I will see you guys in the new expansion.